Imagine a bomb going off right next to you, living through the explosion, but losing one of your legs. It's a reality for a woman who served our country in Iraq, and as 7 News reporter Rochelle Spence shows us, she certainly made the most of it as a Paralympian. A place called Fort Hood, Texas. Melissa Stockwell says she always wanted to serve. When September 11th happened, she realized her uniform wouldn't be worn on American soil. It wasn't a matter of if we would deploy, it was a matter of when, so I knew that my time would come. It was April 2004 in Iraq. I was just on a routine convoy through central Baghdad. A roadside bomb detonated near her Humvee. I went under a bridge and a big explosion went off and it was really loud. She travels showing her prosthetic left leg to kids sharing her story. Students here were so excited to meet Stockwell and hear her story. They greeted her with a stack of letters and homemade cards. There were even some laughs along the way at Slater Marietta Elementary School Thursday morning. Just imagine if you're out dancing and you see somebody do this. <laughs> Whoa. When Stockwell isn't answering questions from a sea of curious minds, she's training. From Baghdad to Beijing, she competed in the Paralympic Games. Now she's on the road to Rio, working hard to qualify again. And if you ask her if she would take back this day, she says no. I would go back and do it again. Stockwell says she's done more with one leg than she ever could have done with two. In Slater Marietta, Rochelle Spence, 7 News. I think we'll all be rooting for her, don't you? Stockwell is currently ranked second in the world. Now stay with us. 7 News at 6 starts right now.